our mission is to calculate what's going to happen when that plane wave hits the opaque screen. And you might think we're going to do this by um, solving the wave equation. Right? You could treat this as a boundary condition. You could say if it's a perfect metal, the E field will be zero, even at all frequencies, and use a boundary condition. But as implied before, we don't do optics that way. We are going to do this. So you remember uh, Mr. Houghton's, Christian Houghton's, and we're going to apply Houghton's principle where we imagine that the wave breaks up into a bunch of little spherical wavelets like that. And we think about how they move forward. Well, you might say that doesn't sound like a good idea. That sounds like we're getting more back to geometrical optics. We're trying to make it to physical optics, right? So geometrical optics, we drew circles around this and drew a line along the periphery of the circles, and it was all very geometrical. Well, we're going to add this. So Fresnel pointed out that Houghton's principle will get you much more accurate answers if you add up the light from these wavelets, but you include interference. Right, so Halhuns just add the wavelets considering interference. So the principle is now called, or the principle we're going to study, the Halhuns Fresnel principle. This has such a big impact on what you get that it was renamed. If you consider interference, it's the Halhuns Fresnel principle. So all we got to do is take these little wavelets, consider a screen, consider a point P, and it starts to look like an interference problem. We're going to think about this little spherical wavelet, and this little spherical wavelet, and this little spherical wavelet, and this one puts light at P, and this one puts light at P, and this one puts light at P, and this one puts oops, light at P. And we had to think about how all those sources interfere. And that gives us the correct physical optics answer. It gives us the same answer you'd get if you literally solve the wave equation.